Hello there, I'm Michael Ligablin with FiddlerShop.com and this is a video for our dear customer Gia. I have three very nice violins for you to listen to. Very nice violins. This first one is the Ming Jengju 925. This one is a Stradivarius template. Up second is a violin made by Luca Zarilli in Udine, Italy. This is violin number 30. And up third, this is the violin made by Andres Bilva, our head luthier. This was one of his first violins he made in Um, well, the three instruments are very different sounding, all like very nice sounding. Um, I kind of ordered them in order from darkness to brightness. I thought the 925 uh, was very dark. Everything was um, a very like unified sound, like well balanced, but everything on its very dark side. And uh, the uh, Andres' violin here. Um, everything was much more very sort of soloistic. It felt very clear. E even like sometimes saying brighter 
sort of has a neg negative con connotation. And yes, it is a brighter instrument, but it has just like a very clear, very focused sound while still having lots of like charisma, lots of character, um, not just like a simple sound. It's very, very complex still. Um, the Zerilli is sort of in between. It's got some some incredibly warm sort of uh, bellow bellowiness to it, especially the D string is just like, ooh, very, very, it, uh, I kind of light up when I get to the, the D string. Um, the, the, the upper register is still very, very bright. It's comparable to the Bill uh, Andres' violin, <laughs> Bill, I never know what to call it here. Um, in the upper register, a little, little, I think a little bit beefier of a sound in the lower register than the 925. So uh, all around three different instruments. Um, I know it's a tricky decision, um, but I, ho I hope one of them uh, jumped out to you. If, uh, for, if, um, if you'd like to talk more about it, I'd be happy to answer any questions. Uh, for, everybody else, for everybody else, if you're watching this and you'd like to learn more about each of these violins, I have a link for them in the description box below. They're still available if Gia didn't take them. Uh, so uh, click on those links and we look forward to seeing you at fiddlershop.com. Thanks. Bye,